I am back with another episode of The Walking Dead. So I hope you enjoyed the last episode. And I did a couple of things that I don't think I did in my last playthrough. I don't think I killed both brothers in my first playthrough that I did way back on the PS Vita. Uh, and I think I didn't... Yeah, the thing with Kenny and Lily, her father, I think I did the exact same thing. I didn't help Kenny kill Larry. And... I think that's pretty much it. But I liked the last episode a lot because it reminded me uh, if you've played the Outer, Wo Outer Worlds, there's a side mission that's similar to that part, but it deals with cannibalism. And when I played that part of the Outer, Wo Outer Worlds, I keep wanting to say Outer Wilds, but there's a different game. It reminded me of this little, of the last episode, because it dealt with cannibals and stuff. I think I might have mentioned that when I on one of my videos of the Outer Worlds. But anyway, let's go on to, I think, the third episode of this. And I'll shut up. Looks like this is our lucky day. Yeah, this might actually go smoothly. We deserve it after last time. your mind yet? About what? When it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon. I bet you're in the let's stay put camp considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. Maybe we split up then. So you stay with Lily then? And Carly will stick with your ass because you saved her that one time. And I get who, Ben? That gangly shit for brains? Split up. Okay, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <sighs> Shit! You okay? The ladders come loose. 
I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. I better get a move on. <clears throat> They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Lily's not doing so good, huh? She'll be fine. If you say so, you're the only one she seems to give a damn about anymore. Well, you and Clem. Girl still upset with me for taking stuff out of that car last week? I haven't asked. You even talk to that girl anymore? Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. What'd he say? He wanted to know if Herschel's son somehow made it. Pretty sure he knows he didn't. Don't worry, you made out like a hero in his eyes. It's not like that. There's no safe way through that mess. You're sure you're up for this. Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Uh, oh, <laughs> shit! What the hell happened? Thought you said you could handle it. God, you ever been shot before? I'm sorry. Christ. You think you'd... <sighs> Is that a walker? Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. It doesn't matter. We gotta keep moving. Let's just leave her. Let's think about this. <laughs> Fuck, we gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. They don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive and she draws them all to her. Buying us time. Kid. Think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. Now look. 
what you've done. Let's move. Coming. Come on, Lee! It's sturdy as hell, but we ain't got much time. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. Coming. Come on, Lee! Up and over. We're still clear. Let's hustle! Jimmy, help! Everywhere. You took care of yourself, didn't you? You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. So, what did you get? Just what was left. Maybe could have got more. Half of it's probably expired. It just wasn't a lot left. This it? 
Yeah, well, we've been picking Macon clean for weeks. <sighs> Fuck. Which is why I've been saying, and I don't want to sound like a broken record here, but we gotta hit the road. Because piling into an RV with you, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know, I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We do whatever is best for the kids. Doesn't that make sense? It's suicide out there. We'll die in here. You're right. You could see someone sleeping and kill one of us. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. We're strongest together. I know you think I'm on her side, but there are no sides, damn it. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of, of, of not hearing it. We wouldn't even be fighting about our medicine and supply stocks if Lee hadn't fucked up downtown. What do you mean? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She was making enough noise that we would have had plenty of time to get what we needed. Instead, smart guy shot her. He what? He put her out of her misery. Stupid. I couldn't let her suffer. We're all suffering. Some more than others. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. Y'all should be giving Lee hell for not doing what needed to be done. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers, and the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on Earth, and it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know?! I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get out. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! Ooh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. Things are missing, and I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real? Who? What do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? 
I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you're using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. A mystery. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the greatest detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. You can help. Don't tell anybody. Secrecy. Yeah, good. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Ah, oh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah, that'd be a good thing to know. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah, we can't turn on each other any more than we have. Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. About the guns. Don't you start. I just wanted to say, Cat, it's probably good they make you uncomfortable. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> but we need them. There's no doubt about that. You need to try harder with Lily. You guys gotta straighten this out. I don't know how straight we can get it, given all that's happened. So what then? Time will come we'll have to do what's best for our families. And that's what we'll do. I'll talk to you later.
Hey, Ben. What's up, Lee? Did you ever come down here to making much? I didn't have much reason to. My parents would let me take the car into the city on the weekend. But what's in Macon? It's kind of a waste of time compared to Atlanta. I grew up in Macon. Oh, I didn't mean to say it's crappy or anything. It's super nice. I mean, not now, but I bet it was. Is... Have you seen anything weird on the watch? Is there anybody out there up to anything? Nope. Really quiet. Really? Yeah, totally. Which is good. A flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay then. What do you think about Lily? She scares the crap out of me. That's a reasonable thing to feel. I'm just worried she's going to snap. Talk to you later, Ben. Bye. Sounds like Kenny actually has that thing running. I'll believe it when I see it. There's something drawn there. Hmm. Chalk. Pink. Hmm. Doc! A clue! Maybe. What do you think it is? I don't think it's anything. Maybe it's a sign. It could be. It's pink chalk, which is weird. Okay, back to investigating. Talk to Lily yet? Yeah. She thinks supplies have been walking away. Really? There's some broken equipment, too. I'll look into it. Thanks for doing that. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. What about? You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. You're probably right. Of course I'm probably right. People might be pissed. And telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. You'll thank me later. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor in a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know, this place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. Do you have any uh, chalk I can borrow? 
What, Clementine holding out on you? So you don't have any? No, why would I? You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her, that's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. Hey. Find anything? I need to tell you something. Sure, go ahead. But if it's bad news, maybe save it. I was sent to prison before the plague. Shit. What? Dad said there was something about you. So you know. I didn't know what to know. Well, it's true. And I'm sorry. He treated you like shit, knew who you were, and you tried to save his life. The last thing you need to do is apologize. Thank you. You killed a guy. So what? I bet he was a dick. Well, it, it ruined my life. Good thing everyone else has got destroyed shortly thereafter, huh? Misery loves company. Have you seen any chalk around? Ah, uh, yes. Clementine loves to draw with it. Yeah, of course. I'll talk to her. Hi, guys. Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. You've always looked at me with kind eyes. I wonder if you could still do that if you, uh, knew I was a convicted felon. My goodness, for what? How much trouble can a teacher get into? Well, plenty. But it had nothing to do with that. It was for murder. Why? He and my wife, uh... That's were... enough. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge, at the dairy. I was given Larry CPR with Lily. Kenny came in from out of nowhere and put a stop to it. What did he do? He smashed his head in. <gasps> Katja. Everything keeps changing. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No. It's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst. Lee. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was coming to see him for clues Yeah, and... Duck, I got it. Good job. You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No. Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. <clears throat> Somebody was over here, too. 
See, I did good, huh? Yeah, Duck. You did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. Clem, I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. The day you and I met, I was in a car accident. I remember. Your leg was bleeding. The car I was in was a police car, and I was on my way to jail for committing a crime. I need to tell you now, because I don't want you to hear it any other way. Okay. Do you have anything to say? I don't think so. You can uh, go on back to your things. Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Yeah? What do you got? It's serious. Okay, should I sit down? Come on. I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. No shit. No shit. Wasn't for touching kids, was it? No, it wasn't. Because we got two here. I killed a guy in a fight. Should I be worried there's anything else in your past that's gonna come out? No. Good. But you should know, if we gotta make numbers when it comes to a boat, this is gonna matter. Those bandits gave us hell, but they've been quiet for days now. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? Yo, Gotta man, keep your out there! Out here. We ain't fucking around! What do we do? Oh, Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking in doors any second. Lily, what the hell are you- Stall him. What? Just keep him talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling a trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your lives! Shit. Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Take it easy. Why are you doing this? Just leave us the fuck alone! Why? This fucking guy. Why? Because we gotta, that's why! We can split the supplies, spread them around. Or we could just kill you and take it all. And, and, and what about when they run out? When you don't have us out there collecting them for you? 
Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hash. Man, shut up, bro! Crash! Oh, shit! Get back there! Smoke him out! We gotta get out of here! No shit! Get those bastards! Cover our people and get them to the RV! Go around, shit for brains! He's back there! Get back there! Smoke him out! We gotta get out of here! No shit! Get those bastards! Cover our people and get them to the RV! Go around, shit, for brains! He's back there! Now! Get over here! Hurry! Man, you saved our asses! Get inside! Hi there, me! Help! Katja, hang on! Where is he? He's hiding behind that man! Get your asses around behind! Hang on! Where is he? He's hiding behind that van! Get your asses around behind! Gotcha! Hurry! Come on! Cliff, get inside the RV! It's gonna be okay! Go! Cat! Oh, Christ! Lily, get in the RV! Screw her! Let her stay! Shit! Last chance! Get down here! Shit! Cat! Jesus, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm sorry. Everything's fine, Everything's ben. not fine. We need to figure out how this happened. We just lost everything. Well, we're lucky as shit to have this RV. And nobody died. Cat's head is split open. I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. 
Somebody was working with them. Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there! That's nuts! Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. It's true. So, Carly, is there something you want to say? Please, we have to get it out of you then. Back off. You're in no position to make demands. Whoa, 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 you're just pointing fingers. I didn't just come up with this. I've had my suspicions. Carly's trustworthy. She's not a traitor, Lily. Thank you, Lee. She can fight her own battles. Unless there's something going on here that implicates you both. Don't be ridiculous. Like, look, maybe we should uh, vote or something like that. Vote? What? Just look. Carly's a stand-up gal and maybe this was all just a mistake. We need to look at the facts. Let's calm down, we'll eat, and we'll deal with it. Let me stop waving the finger at everybody. We know something's going on and we can get to the bottom of it if we keep our heads. I know what we found. I know, Lily. I know. Nobody was stealing anything! Was it both of you? What? I've seen you two together. Was it both of you? Look, just let me out. I didn't do it, but I don't like this. I don't like where it's headed. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. Lily, lay off of him. I... Shit! What's going on up there? I hit something. We gotta stop. All right, well, we can deal with this now, then. Kenny, is it safe? Should be. Everybody out. Lily... Out. Kenny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. God damn it. Everyone, keep your eyes peeled. You know what? We shouldn't just Fucking kick you out. Thing we should in hear half. what everybody thinks. I think you should chill out. I'm not gonna take this. You can push Ben around, but you can't push me around. I'm really sorry you feel that way. I'm starting to think maybe it was both of you. I'm not doing this. Come on, Lee. You're the one who found them. You can't just abstain. Fuck all that. This is nuts. We're out here on the side of the road. Okay, fine then. Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. We don't need all these votes. What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything. I'll, I'll do watches for months. Huh. The hell you will. I'll get more food, more medicine, anything. Just stop panicking. Seriously, Ben. You need to stop and just take a breath. Do we need any more evidence than this? Fuck evidence! Stop treating him like this! Shut up, Carly! Ugh, I've heard enough out of you! Kenny, what's it gonna be? Just give me a damn minute! Ben, you have until that walker is dealt with to tell me it was her and not you! Stop this! You're torturing him! No! Ben! Stop! Ah, this is about trust, and I've shit. never trusted you! Lily, lay off. I can't, Lee. You know I can't! Thank you, Lee. Please, listen to him. Please don't kick me out of the group. We won't. Tell me. Now. There. I got him. Please, let's just get back That's in the That's not RV. happening. You think you're some tough bitch, don't you? Like nothing can hurt you. But you're just a scared little girl. Get the fuck over it. Take a page from Lee's book and try helping somebody for once. Now, what the fuck's the problem? Drop it! Holy fuck. Kenny! What's happening? Keep duck away from the windows! Jesus Christ! Get in! We're leaving this crazy bitch! She couldn't be trusted, Lee. I swear. Please. Just get in. We'll figure out what to do with you. It's a bad idea, Lee. She's a murderer for shit's sake. Murderer? Lee's killed before and I forgave him. You've killed before and I'll forgive you. 
Bullshit you, you will! Know we You've do been planning to, to get me done. this entire time! I was trying to protect all of us. I don't have anything left. Whatever. Just get in. Lee, a word, please? You okay? Katya needs you for something. What's up? Is Duck feeling all right? During the raid. What's the plan? We've never had a bite victim in the group before. I'm going to keep an eye on him and see what I can do from a medical perspective. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Guys. What else is there to do? We thought you should know. Important to stay honest with each other. Anyway. If you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it. Duck is bitten. He got bit by a walker trying to escape the motel. I... don't feel good. What about Carly? There was no time for a burial. Walkers? Yeah. Horrible. Too. I heard you outside my treehouse that day, and thought about dropping a hammer on your head. Huh. That's nice. I didn't, though. Thanks. Got something up ahead. Damn it. Roads blocked. Now we gotta deal with this. Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. 
This seems like a safe area. Well, this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. And I'd like everyone out of the RV except her. I don't want folks trapped in there with her. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Clem, stay close to Kenny and Cat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, hon. Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? Hadn't crossed my mind. That's one hell of a mess. Doors closed. Was it you? Not this again. Was it? No! Okay then. What would you have done with Lily? I don't know. Left her? I've never seen anybody kill someone like that before. Yeah, you've seen a bunch of other stuff by now. Yeah, but not like that. Somebody's been living in here. Yeah, man. Shit, think they're gone? I hope so, but this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. A map of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kinney's got us headed. I'll take this to Kanja for Duck. We got one. Walker, sitting in the chair. We got him. We gotta look him over. Yeah. I don't think this guy came back. Christ. That light is blinking. Push it. Push it? Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. That's Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. 
We found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. This hoss will take us right to Savannah. A hundred tons of steel. Put a thousand walkers between us and the ocean, and we don't have to give a shit. I can't believe it. What about Doc? What about him? We can't act like nothing happened to him. We can't act like he's dead, either. Okay. Fair enough. Try to get this thing started. There's gotta be some sort of manual or something. <laughs> I don't know about that. That's the spirit. Ben, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. Hey, Ken. What's up? You want to talk about Duck? I'm really sorry, Kenny. Nobody deserves this. There's nothing to talk about. You heard Cat. He could be fine. We probably shouldn't ignore that. Nobody's ignoring nothing. I'm not worried. You shouldn't be either. I hope it's all right I chose to keep Lily with us. Abandoning someone on the side of the road is the same as murder. Turning over a new leaf, huh? I'm just doing what I can. It's fine for now, but we have to deal with it eventually. God, we need some help getting this train going. People take notes, right, when working on stuff like this? Uh, we're smart guys, we can figure it out. I'll get back to it. Me too. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I can kinda see the indentations from the writing. Hey, Ken. What's up? All right, then. Yep. of maps about Georgia's cities. Nothing about the train. I have no idea what to do with these. This door's gonna hurt. Okay, you aren't gonna like this.
in pretty good shape for a wreck. Hey, Clem. What are you going to do with Lily? I don't know. Something, I suppose. I don't know what we can do. She killed her. Yeah, it, it's horrible. We found a notebook that we think might have had some starter directions on it, but the page is missing. Well, I'm sure you guys will figure it out. Here, I found these. If Duck's up for it. Thank you, that's very thoughtful. He isn't fussy, you know. What? Most kids, they're really fussy about what they'll eat. Hate vegetables, that kind of thing. Not Duck, huh? No. The most trouble I ever have is making him use a fork. Thank you, Lee. Sure. Here. Found some water. Oh, thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? That's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't. But you're probably right. There's a notepad on the train. Do you have any pencils or anything in your pack? No, I wish. Maybe in the RV. What do you need it for? There used to be something written on the notepad that I need to know about. Well, if you're not using it, I'd take it. I'm out of paper, and there's all sorts of new leaves around here.
Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I can kind of see the indentations from the writing. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I can kind of see the indentations from the writing. Hey, Ken. What's up? God, we need some help getting this train going. People take notes, right, when we're working on stuff like this? Uh, we're smart guys. We can figure it out. I'll get back to it. Me too. I'm leaving. Go. Now! Come with me. We could take the RV right now. He left the keys in it. No way! Didn't think you would say yes. I can't let you take the RV. Don't be crazy. You're not letting me take it. Sorry, Lee. I really am. Shit! She's stealing the RV! Come back here, you crazy bitch! Fuck! Stop! I'm glad she's gone. With our only reliable vehicle! Maybe, man. Maybe. Well, we're fucked if we don't figure out how this thing works. Can't spend the night out here. Duck is still sick, you know. We need to get to the city, the coast. Shit! She's stealing the RV! Come back here, you crazy bitch! Fuck! Stop! Let's focus on the train. Well, we're fucked if we don't figure out how this thing works. Can't spend the night out here.
Ducky's still sick, you know. We need to get to the city, the coast. Perfect. You can read it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up! So far, so good. Now we're talking.
Holy shit! We're golden! Yeah, we are. Golden. Man, feels good. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. It's all yours. That's the throttle. Damn it! Of course, we're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck and get us unstuck? Yeah. Hey, Kenny, we're loose! You touch any of my stuff? I didn't take anything. I asked if you touched it. I did. I guess it's no worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warm to me right quick in direct sunlight. You met Chuck? Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. What's your game, man? Keeping alive. That's not bad. I like it. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on the... Stay with us. We'd like the company.
Hey, sweet pea. That candy Chuck gave you. It taste okay? It was really good. No funny aftertaste? No. Train's cool, huh? I guess. Scary, kind of. How you doing, Ben? I'm watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. What do you think? I'm sorry about the RV. I'm worried. We're really on our own out here now. Well, we're putting some time into this train. Worst comes to worse. Boxcar's safe enough to sleep in. Has Clementine said anything to you about Carly or Duck or anything? I'm worried about her. No. <laughs> that little girl is a puzzle. Yeah, she is. Poor Carly. God, where did yesterday go? I don't know. Are you okay? I know you were fond of her. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I do. Don't. I liked her, but she's gone now. I'm sorry, Lee. How's that? I don't know. Tired. Which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah. His body's probably fighting whatever's in it. Exactly. Anyway, let me know if anything changes here. Hey, Chuck. Howdy. Where are you from? You live around here? Georgia boy. You saw where I live. Why are you alone? Why not? Seem to be doing all right. Fine, then. I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all, actually. It's nice. You caught us on a bad day. Mm. You still got a couple of kids. And this one's got a good spirit. That's some kind of something. I'll talk to you later. Hope so. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Want a ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. Haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can't ignore this. Look at the kid, Kenny. This is happening. Ain't shit happening. And if it were, what can we do here? We get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through. Get on, cat. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going.
Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. There were more of us. Dad, get them? Yes. Oh, it's a shame. Lee! Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's. Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please. You need to stop the train. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? The beginning of a walker. He'll be fine. We get to the coast and maybe meet up with people who have this shit figured out. Wake the fuck up, man. This is over. He's dead. Don't you tell me to wake up. I got a real family I'm trying to protect. Not that fucking sham you're running back there. I don't know what the hell is wrong with you, but you need to lock it up. Be a man here. Oh, you want a piece of me? Is that it? I just want to talk, Ken. Relax. Then talk. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. You're in denial. And you've given up. On Duck, on everyone. Stop it, goddammit. Fuck you, Lee. You're gonna listen. Or what? You're acting like nothing's wrong, and somebody's gotta knock some sense into you. Just leave me the fuck alone! I don't need you, and Doc doesn't need you! You don't even have a child! You don't know what this is like, you fucker! You're not helping my family! You're not helping Clementine! You're not helping anybody! I fucking hate you, Lee. Do you hear me? I... I don't know what to do. Stop the train. It's... I think it's time. The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. We shouldn't waste time. There ain't none left to waste. I'm saying we shouldn't stay put. 
What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cap. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Can just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Oh, fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. Kenny, you're his dad. You do. I, I'm his mother. Lee's right. And don't give me that I brought him into this world junk. Shush. He's still a baby boy. It would be different if he were older. Let me do this. Then I'm coming with you. No, hon. Stay with Lee. Your son loves you. And you should remember him as the silly boy we used to have. Not this. What's happening? Conscious taking care of Duck. I thought he was going to die. She's putting him out of his misery. Oh. Yeah. Look, Clem, things are... This will never happen to you. You don't know that. Yes, I do. I'm gonna go get her. She's probably a mess. Ben, get Clementine on the train, all right? And keep your eyes open. Cat! Cat! Gotcha! Why? Cat! Honey! Oh, fucking God! <laughs> So sorry. She couldn't. She, 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 she just. Oh, 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 fuck! What do we do? You're his dad. You gotta do this. Just put an end to it, man. Do 
quiet! Chuck said. What Chuck say? That what happened to Duck would happen to me. The fuck he did. Swear. Sorry. I'm gonna go talk some sense into him. Don't be mad. Hey. How you doing? I don't care what reasons you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Cause she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow, that y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We find a boat. You think that's a new idea? You got even the foggiest idea about where you're gonna find one of those. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. Are you listening to me? For fuck's sake, I shouldn't even have to be telling you this. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. All right, I'll do what you're saying. You're gonna live with the consequences either way. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. Got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there. About whether or not you folks want company. Kenny ended up shooting his son out there. I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. You're homeless then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and... Well, they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. Be safe up here. You betcha. If I could buy you for a second, Kenny. Can you just leave me alone? Hey. Hey. It'll be.
be good to get to the water. Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. You mind if I look in there for a second? I really wish you'd just leave me alone. Hey, Ben. Hey. Aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. We're all homeless. You know what I mean. There's not much use in describing people by who they were. Yeah. I guess not. Carly didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah, maybe. See ya. Yeah. A fifth of whiskey. He's lived here a while. They look clean enough. Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh, he explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you, but there are some precautions we have to take. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay, what should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh, tidy up a little, so you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? I know these are just bottles, but you have to aim for the head. I know. Only the head. Unless it's not a walker and it's someone trying to hurt you. And then? Head or body. Anywhere. I don't want to think about that. You're right. It might be a lot for your first day. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. <laughs> You okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Okay, aim a little bit more to the left. Close. Now keep it steady. Bit to the right. Aim lower. 
I got it. Excellent. Good shot. Aim more to the right. Okay, a little higher. A little bit more to the left. Steady now. Almost got it. There you go. Nice. I did it! Yeah, you did. Good job. I just pretended they were walker heads. Good. Just like you should. They're not walkers, though. No. Far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. Hey, Clint. Hi. So, you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Cause it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Do you know how to do this? How hard can it be? I'm going to look like a boy. Shush now. So you did kill someone before. Yeah. I'm glad you finally told me. Me too. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. Killing, killing is bad no matter what. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. Doesn't make it good. But you have to. I do it because it's necessary. Walkers aren't people. Okay, I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with something. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There, all set. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no, you look cute. And a lot harder to grab. I hope we're not on this train much longer. Hey, Ben. Hey. See ya. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I'll, uh, talk to you later, Kenny. A 
I found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? Sure. Ooh. Not known for its finish. No kidding. <clears throat> Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Will do. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some? Yeah. Yeah, that'd help. Thanks. Hey, Ben. Hey. See ya. Yeah. It was me. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. I could kill you. I... I... Nobody could see us. I could toss you over right now and be done with it. No! I... Lee, please! Why shouldn't I? They said they had my friend. I didn't know what to do. Lee, please! I had to tell someone. I bet you did. Hey, Clint. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're gonna do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay and, well, if they're not, what happened to them. I'm sure they're okay. Yeah, it's best to stay positive. That's what Dad always says. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm... Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the... M... M... something... Mar... Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know... Sure. Go ahead. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. 
I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far- Oh shit! Hold on everybody! Maybe we could walk? That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm, I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo, you keep screaming like that and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. No, we're friendly! Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. We know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there, we won't let them escape. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves! I guess you'll have to find out. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now? What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Hey, I'm not gonna bullshit you. Our group is a little fucked right now. We had a bite victim, then his mom took her life, and before that, just... It's okay. Oh shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Oh, this is great! See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone, first day all of this happened. We've been together ever since. And everybody down there, they're cool? We just met Chuck, but he seems like an alright guy. You always have to worry about new people. I used to love meeting new people. That must have been a long time ago. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. A train is awesome, though. A tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it. But if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. That's about the only useful thing in here.
There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. It's empty. Let's go talk to your people, man. Oh, me? What? Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes? Like I said, it's been a bit of a day. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we are not looking for charity. These two are joining us. We'll see about that. Gotta be careful about newcomers, I say. I don't know what it is. I can tell you two are good people. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute. If you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens. Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. This would create one hell of a fireball if we tried to blast through. Can I follow you over there? You don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, all right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. Somebody was doing some painting. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together.
Doesn't look like that thing's worked in years. Windows open up there. Maybe I could look in. Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. Ugh. Okay, I can see in. What do I do now? What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For real? I think so. Well, I'll be damned. Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. Damn, it's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. It's too dark in there. Yeah, we should prop the door open with something. Way too dark. Yeah, you're right. How we doing? Good. What do we need? Something to help us deal with the tanker out there. Locked up good. They didn't have much business back then. That's exactly what we need. Over there? Yeah, we need to get in there and get that blowtorch. There's some space up there, but not much. We're lucky I'm so little. Yeah, we are. You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. Behind you! Fuck! Ugh.
Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. Behind you! Fuck! It's okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. Keys, now! Fuck, it's still locked! So good. No, it did not go so good. But we're okay. Everything's okay. What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. We're fine. We found some walkers. You and an eight year old versus three of them, huh? We handled it. Yeah, it looks like. What if you hadn't? I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. I hope you know what you're doing with her. We're still alive, aren't we? Yeah, you are. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm a little shaky. It'll pass. We got it. Well, let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. We learned not to be afraid. They should have got us. But we got them. Yeah, you're right. Fear is the thing that will kill us. You understand? There's gotta be something useful in here. I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. Excellent. I'll come up there with you to have a look. Shit. What's up? The hose has a leak in it. 
turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Better plug that leak with something. Hope this holds. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Whoa, thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. I can't reach it now. Here. The weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> no. But I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are! God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. Gotta jump! What? No way! Guys! Jump! No! Jump, damn it! Still no! Fine! Yourself. My leg is spot. We're fine, Clementine. We're fine. Next stop, the Atlantic. We're finding Clementine's parents when we get there. I thought they were dead. Looking for them then. That's not the plan. Well, it's ours. She and I talked it through. You'll be all right. 
I'll be alive, I guess. Blood in my heart. Blood in my brain, at least. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. What the? Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me, whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Holy shit. I thought that fucking thing was broken. So did I. Who the fuck was that? If he's convinced Clementine that he has her parents... Y'all might want to rethink your plan. <laughs>